little smoky river Fallen timber, a strong standing tree. How's it going, everybody? It's Dusty Tucker. I'm out here doing a range scrap three video. Um, this is the third one, and I've upgraded since then. I used to just use the uh, the deep fry basket here for the longest time, and I figure out. I figured there's got to be a better way, even though I was getting quite a bit like that. Um, what's even proving better is this little contraption that I made here. I just used some pallet wood to make a frame, and I bought some quarter inch wire and reinforced the crap out of it on the side. And I just put a few pieces of rope for a handle. Basically a little sifter here. So we're just gonna try and show you how well it works. And I got my uh, short spade out here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So basically it just rained not too long ago. So I got some dark sand underneath all of the, uh, the bullets. So I'm just basically trying to skim the surface to get the dry sand so it sifts through a lot easier than the wet sand. If I have a lot of wet sand in my uh, mixture, I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning lead uh, in that operation, so I kinda wanna avoid that. So basically, I'm just taking, skim, skim the surface like that, bring it over here, dump it in, and I'll do about seven or eight shovelfuls like that. And uh, I'll start sifting. I'll just show you a couple just for now. We'll go over to the fresh backstop here. You can just see all the lead protruding out of the hill. That's what's nice about after the rain. Is that uh, it's just, it just sticks out like a sore thumb after it rains. So I'll just do a couple. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um... Let me try and prop my phone down here somewhere so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see if this works. I apologize, you guys. I don't have a tripod out here today. So, you can see. Just like that. A couple of shakes back and forth. And we got all that lead just from that. And then I'll put it in a transfer bucket and bring it out to a five gallon pail. Now I can't fill these all the way because when those suckers are full, it's like 200 pounds. It is freaking heavy and I can't get that in the back of my truck by myself. So I just fill five gallon pails halfway and then throw them in the back of my truck. And then when I get to the shop, I'll put two in one to get a full one and then I'll have another two. Every time I come out here I'll I'll fill four or five gallon pails halfway. That way at least I got another 400 pounds of scrap lead at home. And I gotta do as much as I possibly can because this mound, the backstop is gonna be relocated over north, over there more. So when that happens, I'm gonna lose all of this lead inside this mound so my goal for the next couple months is to fill as many five gallon pails as i possibly can with range scrap that way i know that i have a good source of lead until pff, well after i'm dead <laughs> so that's what that's what we're doing here you can see just from that couple of skim surface there's probably about five ten pounds of lead in there already so this already beats the uh hand sifting method with the deep fry basket just wanted to do a update video on how i'm collecting my range scrap now thought i'd give it a go so we'll call it range scrap three dusty tucker signing out